Welcome back. It is now time for your entertainment news. The legal battle between Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt continues. New legal documents are emerging alleging a history of physical abuse on Jolie. A history of it that dates back before the publicly known plane ride in 2016. The documents were filed as part of the continued legal battle over the French winery they once owned together. Thursday, Jolie filed a motion in the Los Angeles Superior Court saying Pitt wanted her to sign an NDA before selling her share. Jolie says the NDA would have prohibited her from speaking publicly about the abuse of Jolie and their children. Pitt had filed a lawsuit in 2022 claiming he and Jolie agreed neither would sell their share of the winery without the consent of the other. It's just crazy because I, I, I honestly, I don't like this for them. I know. You know I just wish it would have went in like a different, different direction. Different direction, you know. I know. It's unfortunate. Well, Disney, Disney is revealing some new details about its $60 billion expansion. Walt Disney World site official says the project will include a new 14-acre area within the Magic Kingdom. He called it the largest expansion ever for the park, but he didn't announce any themes, designs, or when it will open. Disney's $60 billion expansion also includes pro projects in other parks and cruises over the next decade. Disney's plans comes as competitor Universal Orlando Resort prepares to open a third theme park next year. So this is really Disney, cool for them, yeah. Disney keeps on going with the expansions and yes. everything. I mean, good Putting for them. Putting so much money into it. For real. Well, speaking of Disney, Disney Plus is cracking down on password sharing. The streaming platform will start to curb password sharing in June in some countries and more broadly in September. It is part of Disney's efforts to boost signups and revenue as the streaming service continues to lose money. CEO Bob Iger pointed to the jump in signups its rival Netflix Netflix has seen in its recent crackdown on password sharing. According to data from, from Antenna, the subscription media company Netflix added 100,000 new accounts in the two days after its crackdown went into effect. Iger called the Netflix the gold standard in streaming and said he hopes a similar boost could help move the company's streaming platform toward profitability. I know I, I was one of the accounts that signed up after they mm. cracked down on password sharing because my parents are like, I couldn't get so back into I, their account. Yeah, I understand. It's just like, why? I like, know. how much more money do you need at this right, point? Right, right. Because, I mean, like, I it, was very upset when, like, Netflix went this direction. Yes. Because um, my brother owns our Netflix account, so it's just like, right. uh, We're <laughs> part of a do. family. I feel yeah. like we should be able to. Yeah. I feel like if you have, if it's your family, it's okay. Yeah. If you're handing it out to random yeah, strangers. Yeah, like your friends, yeah. Yeah, they have to come up with some kind of a authentication. Better way to do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, today in entertainment news, two movies directed by women who got their starts as actresses. Here's David Daniel with the Hollywood Minute. Margot, as you look, to your left, please. Margot Robbie is returning to the world of comic book movies. The Barbie producer and star, who played the DC character Harley Quinn in several films, is set to produce Evangeline, based on the comic about a fallen angel who fights the forces of evil. Booksmart and Don't Worry Darling director Olivia Wilde is on board to direct. No word on who'll play the title role. Have you been going to the 12-step meetings? I just don't really get how that's supposed to help me and switch off what my brain automatically does. What does your brain do? Parachute stars Courtney Eaton from Yellow Jackets as a young woman struggling with an eating disorder. When she hits it off with a once promising musician played by Thomas Mann, they'll have to learn to balance their love and their personal issues. It's the directorial debut of Pitch Perfect star Brittany Snow, who also co-wrote the script. Parachute is in theaters now. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Welcome into the ABC 36 Visit Lex Weekend Planner. First up, if you're a fan of Coldplay, you'll want to check this out. Candlelight Concerts is bringing the magic of a live musical experience to Lexington. Get your tickets now to discover the music of Coldplay at the Lyric Theater, displayed with tons of flowers dedicated to spring. Next up, the start of the Canlan Spring Meet is here. This event is an absolute spe spectacle to watch here in the bluegrass. Tickets are available now. General admission starts at $7. 
And finally, if you're not headed to Keeneland on Saturday and your night with some laughs, stand-up comedian Ryan Hamilton will be at the Lexington Opera House at 7.30 on April 6th. He's been everywhere on television, including late-night shows with Jimmy Fallon, Stephen Colbert, Conan, and others, and also has his own Netflix special you will not want to miss. Just three suggestions for those among dozens of awesome weekend events in our area. Remember, Visit Lex isn't just the greatest resource for out-of-town visitors. They're here for all things Lexington and Bluegrass, so join us here every Friday on Good Day Kentucky for the ABC 36 Visit Lex Weekend Planner. Yes, I love the Visit Lex Weekend Planner. I also use it, and yes, I'm, very, for I'm sure. very thankful for them. Yes. Well, make sure you guys stick with us. We're going to have more Good Day Kentucky after this break.